What's up, everyone? This is Mr. Reed, choir director from Harney Middle School, and this is the second tutorial video of the Charms Office Assistant. So first, we want to bring up the Charms page. So you can go up into your address bar and you can type www.charmsoffice.com and you can get there, or you can also access it from harneymschoir.com. Um, on the actual page, you go into Enter, Parents, Students, Members. Again, you enter the school code, Harney MS Choir, and that's it. And then you enter Charms. And then here you're gonna type your password. If you haven't changed your password, again, it would be your student login ID. I go ahead and type that in, and it brings me up to my own personal page. Um, again, I know it's my personal page because I see my read zero admin at the right-hand corner. Um, a couple of the features here, really quick. At the top, if I scroll over it, you'll see that there's student info, finances, stuff, participation, and chat. And under the home, it opens up right here with home, calendar, volunteer needs, email directors, and files and handouts. And then in the middle here, we have all the different apps that you can just click on. So instead of going up to home and then going into calendar and clicking on student calendar, you can access the calendar by just clicking right here. And that brings up our calendar. Okay. If you have a smartphone, you can also sync your calendar to your phone by clicking here. And um, the iPhones, Android phones, Blackberry phones, these are all different instructions, Windows phones, on how to um, sync them. I don't think we can sync uh, Windows phones, but the Blackberry, Android, and iPhone, I know you can. And it syncs to the public calendar, so anything that's on a public event, which actually all the events are public, so just realize that um, you might actually have some other events that aren't specific to your choir. Okay. Um, I can always go back to the home page by clicking up here where it says home or clicking down here where I have this home here. Okay. Um, and uh, then we also have other things like emailing the director. Um, we have myself and Ms. Pack. You can always get us here. Uh, we can always go back home. And uh, there's the full page. Don't know why the other one pulled up there. Um, we also have volunteers. If you'd like to volunteer, go ahead and click on this. And there are all the different events that you can sign up for. And this is extremely easy to do. Let's click on an event like Fresh and Easy. Um, show volunteer needs. And here we already have three different volunteers, which is great. If you'd like to volunteer, you just type in your name, uh, phone number, and email, and then hit the sign up button, and it will automatically sign you up. We will email you before the date and make sure that you're all set and understand what to, where to meet and what's going on um, and all of that. So it's very easy to sign up to become a volunteer. Again, if you want to change to a different date, you can come up here and click on another event. Let's go back to the home page. Um, we also have under here files and handouts. This is where students can come and practice or you can get the handouts that we've handed out um, during school. So these are all the different handouts that have been handed out. Um, if I go back there, again that's at the home, files, handouts, I can go to practice files. And I click on that, and here is a practice file here. As I go over it, it'll tell me exactly what it is. It's kind of squished together. This is the soprano part, the baritone part, um, all parts for As Fair As Morn. So let me just click on this really quick, and you'll hear the audio part for all of these. And you can go ahead and practice online with the music um, that you have from school. So that's always good. You can close out of that to get back. And we'll go back to the home page. <clears throat> Um, if you'd like to access the website, you can just click on this app and it brings you directly to our harneymschoir.com. Um, the finances page is very important. Finances will tell you how much is owed. So if I'm a Bella Voce student, for example, I would have a $34 payment that would be due by September 30th. Um, and I would have to pay that, so that is all right there. Um, we will be setting up PayPal here soon. So if you'd like to pay online, you can. But there is a convenience fee that's put in there um, to be able to do that. Um, but you can pay through PayPal. Let's go back to the home site. Um, again, forms collected. If I have all of their forms, um, then it would show it as forms turned in, but we have three forms that should have been turned in already, and, uh, and these forms uh, should be shown as turned in. If they're not, then we need to get those forms in as soon as possible. Um, we might have other forms as well during that time as, as we get later. Um, inventory, if you click on this one, it'll show you what is checked out to you, if there's any music, or if you have your uniform that's checked out to you. Um, this will show what needs to be turned back in. It'll also um, show you all of that that's 
that's checked out to you. And those need to get checked back into us, otherwise you will get a fine. Um, don't worry about the recording studio or the practice logs. For most of you, that doesn't really apply to you. Um, to update your personal info, you can click here. Uh, and change your password, you can click here as well. Otherwise, you can always go up to student info and change it there. Finances, again, you can um, access that from the top here. Uh, stuff is where you're going to see all your checked out items. Participation is where you can get into all the forms. And the chat right here is a chat board. And remember, this is monitored. So please keep everything PC. And that's really about it. Um, thank you for watching this tutorial. And hopefully this was helpful.